the six week challenge. And here's another one. And yep, another one and another one right here. They keep on showing these things with unrealistic results, setting false expectations for people, getting their hopes up that they could have massive transformations in six weeks. I mean, come on, look at this one. Are you kidding me? This has got to stop. Like that's on <laughs> they are here, they're here, they're here. They are everywhere. Six week challenge showing you how you could transform your entire body in but only six weeks, only 42 days for you and a massive, wildly successful transformation. This is complete garbage. My name's Enrico Fiorinelli. I'm the fitness sensei. I'm a sensei as in I teach you about education, health, and fitness. Those aspects of your life that they don't teach you about in school, at least not thoroughly enough in my opinion. Today, we want to talk about six-week challenges. You see them. They're a dime a dozen. I guarantee you, somewhere in your Facebook feed or maybe even right before this video on YouTube, you got whacked with an advertisement for a new six week challenge showing massive body transformations in only six weeks. These companies, there's actually a company out there that is literally called six week challenge. So it's designed by this marketing agency to local gyms to promote six week challenges. And as you can see, I'm Batman, which means I need to snuff out the trash, clean it up and fix the diseases in the fitness industry. And then this just happens to be one of them. So when you see these six week challenges, you'll notice a couple of things. As you can see uh, in the lead up, uh, basically they're illustrating before and after results that didn't really happen in six weeks with a headline. What will you look like in six weeks? Bum, bum, bum. But problem of course is if you look at a six week per cycle while you could cut plenty of water you might even be able to burn a couple of pounds of fat in six weeks it takes 3500 calories to burn a pound of fat and you could see changes in your body in that short duration of time often when we set ourselves up in a six week window that's kind of what we're looking at we're looking at only a six week window so when we only look at a six week window, this is often what happens with people when it comes to new year's resolutions and different things like that, where you get started you're like, okay, I'm going to bear this for six weeks. I'm going to go super hard for six weeks. And then you drop off six weeks later. It's really funny. Uh, the, uh, those of us in the fitness industry know that between January 15th to about mid March, roughly six weeks, uh, we go through and we see this kind of early to mid March where gyms get super, super busy. Not, not right at new year's. Cause you know, if you are waiting for a new year's resolution, it takes you a little bit longer to get started, but a couple weeks after new year's till, you know, roughly six, seven weeks later, the drop off happens because people have these very short term, hey, I'm gonna go super hardcore and be super good about my fitness and they drop off after six weeks. And that's the other component of it is it's really a sales tool to have you kind of do something basically for as long as you're willing to try something new as opposed to taking the time and putting the effort to developing habits bit by bit to push you through to get to a fitness plan that would actually work for you. What they want to do is they want to lump a bunch of people in together, have everyone follow the same week, same six week program, send in a bunch of before and after pictures so that they can slap those up, maybe doctor them up a little bit, different things of that nature. And basically either they'll see results, they won't see results, they use the ones that kind of show a little bit more where people kind of punch forward a little bit and then they stand straight up or different things of that nature, but they won't use the other ones. And Again, there is, if it takes you joining a six week program to get active, great power to you. I will say this a million times, but I am in favor of anything that gets someone started. But when you see these clowns, these jokers out there 
promoting a six week challenge illustrating massive body transformations in but six weeks when you've worked for 20, 25, 30 years sometimes on your body to bring it out of shape. You gotta realize that it's bullshit. Realize that whatever it takes to get you moving, get you going, great, awesome, phenomenal. God knows we have a 70% of the people in the United States are overweight to obese. This is a true epidemic that we're putting ourselves in. What I want you to do is I want you to back it down a little bit. Start to build and formulate the habits. Pay attention to your body's response to the stimulus that you're putting it through. So with our diet, with our exercise, with our recovery programs, each and every part or aspect of our life, we have a particular outcome that we're looking for from that. We go to work to make money. We go to the gym to see gains. We eat clean to get leaner. All of these aspects of things are based on the result that you're looking for. And when we only commit to ourselves for a short duration of time, we're really just committing to failure. So what I want you to do is today, I want you to commit to taking positive steps towards your health and wellness. Now, in the comment section below, what I want you to do is I want you to just simply comment what it is that you're going to be committed to. Me, personally, I'm going to commit right to you right now that I will be doing a video every single day I'll post up a new video dismaying more of the garbage, shifting through some of the garbage as well as giving you some tips, tools, and tricks that are going to help you discover the proper fitness program for you, one that you're going to be able to sustain for the long haul. Because health and fitness, it's not about how well do you look at the beach next year. It's about your health, your life, and your longevity. That's what I'm going to commit to you right now is I will give you a video literally every day dismaying some garbage in the fitness industry as well as giving you some actual steps that you could take moving forward. What I want you to commit to is whether it's being more active, drinking more water, eating better, drinking less alcohol, sleeping better, exercising every day in some capacity, being more active. It doesn't matter what it is, but I want you to comment below and commit to one step that you're going to be taking today. And as always, my name is Enrico Fiorinelli. I'm the fitness sensei. I'm here to educate, entertain, empower, and enlighten you about your health and wellness. I'll catch you guys later.